Hey, I'm Nick Jonas, and today I'm doing my Holy Rail with British GQ. So this first item is uh, very important to me. This is an Omega Speedmaster. The story with this is that when I was doing the Spaceman album, I wanted you know, this theme to kind of carry through to many different things. So the idea of being a spaceman, you know, we did a music video in a place that looked like Mars, and so it was fitting that we have the first watch that was worn on the moon. Little known fact, the astronauts that went to the moon wore this very watch. I proudly wear it as a spaceman, a self-proclaimed non-astronaut spaceman. When it comes to watches, you know, it's all about finding something that suits your personality and can be uh, additive to any outfit. So I tend to go for things that, yes, at times make a statement and are bold, but also things that are more classic. And when you're giving a watch, I think the classic approach is always smooth. And make sure it can tell time. It's a very important piece of the puzzle. Next up are these Marnie sneakers. You know, I'm, I'm definitely a sneaker guy. When I found these, I kind of lost my mind because the bottom of these sneakers looks like a sponge, uh, even though it's it's quite hard. I got these the, the week I was hosting and performing on SNL. It was just such a great sneaker, very comfortable to stand for hours rehearsing all the sketches and things I was gonna do. And I've not seen anybody, anybody else with them, which is always a good thing. I think that we've come a long way uh, in regards to footwear and just generally clothing. You can kind of mix and match anything. If you're wearing a suit, you can wear them with some sneakers or dress shoes, whatever's right for you. But there are certain environments probably better not to wear sneakers. You know, I always like a, a nice dress shoe as well when the, when the time calls for it, or Chelsea boot. But these, these can do a trick. A nice gray suit, black tie, maybe black shirt. It all comes together. So I have a lot of things that I have to carry around with me at all times. Passport, wallet, bunch of things. Uh, and so I needed something to carry them in. And so I found this Tom Ford portfolio bag, uh, and I just love it. And I've actually, given this as a gift to a lot of my friends. Uh, different, you know, colorways and things like that, but just, it does the trick for sure. Uh, especially when you're moving around as much as, as I do. I keep a, a notebook in here. Uh, I've got, you know, obviously my AirPods, need those. Tons of stuff. And of course, the, the, the best thing, which is uh, an eye mask, if I can catch some Zs from time to time while on a car ride. But this is a great thing to have. It's uh, compact. You can fit an iPad if you need to, and uh, it looks super cool, it elevates every outfit. If I was just in this hoodie, you might be like, oh, it's a nice hoodie. But if I have this with me, suddenly it's a put together outfit. I'm a massive Tom Ford fan. I wear Tom Ford cologne, I've got this bag. Most of my stuff, my backpack, my luggage is all Tom Ford. I think he's very elegant. I've actually been around him once before on a plane and saw his whole routine, the, the bag that he had and the way he did his whole thing and it was very inspiring. And then last year, just before COVID really hit, uh, one of the last events we did was uh, a benefit uh, concert and, and event and uh, we sat with Tom Ford and uh, got to chat with him for a while and really right before the world shut down completely. So it was you know, a nice way to, <laughs> to say goodbye to life as it used to be. I think it depends on your vibe, what suits you, what kind of things you need to carry around. You know, for me, this is the perfect size, but for someone else, Justin Thoreau, for instance, maybe it's a, a massive bag. Uh, and others like the, the little ones, just big enough for your phone or something. So it's really up to you. Go with what, what, what suits your lifestyle. For me, this is the perfect fit. A good pair of sunglasses is always important. Um, these are uh, a little bold, I would say, but they've got the right shape when I have a shaved head or buzz cut like this, which I'm currently in the process of growing back out. But it's a very different thing to when I have longer hair. I have to go with a more sort of Ray-Ban Wayfair shape. So this was kind of a fun, bold change. Um, I like the color of the lenses and just the, the lightweight feel to them. My, my wife tries to steal them all the time, but I gotta keep a close eye on them, no pun intended. The brand is Gentle Monster. They do a good job of the gold detailing. You look kind of like you're in uh, a sci-fi movie, which is always good. And you know, they're just, they're fun to mix things up and not always have to do the traditional kind of, you know, dare I say it, boring aviators. When choosing the shape of my sunglasses uh, and clothing and just generally making life choices, my hair cut kind of dictates a lot of things. So I'm in between a buzz cut and growing my hair back out. But when it's shorter, buzz cut, I tend to go for more sort of angular things, a bit more sort of street style casual wear. And when my hair's longer, 
tend to be more refined, more traditional sort of shapes as far as sunglasses go, and you know, tailored suits and things like that. It really depends, you know? I, I, I live my whole life based on how my hair is cut. Speaking of hair, when my hair is short, like it is now, uh, this is a great product. Bumble and Bumble, Sumo Tech. Nice little paste there, mix it in, mess it about, see where it lands. Uh, and then when it's even shorter than it is now, it just adds some good texture. So this is my go-to when I'm in this phase of the hair process. My daily grooming routine looks like this. Come out of the shower, I put some, uh, energizing face cream on. I do an under eye uh, de-puffing roller, um, which is phenomenal. Tom Ford makes a great one, of course. And then I go, I, you know, I put my deodorant on, of course, spray a little cologne, put some stuff in my hair. Uh, the, uh, then I go change. And when I come back, that's when I will, you know, apply a deeper moisturizing uh, cream to my face. And then if I'm feeling really crazy, I'll spray some more cologne just to make sure I smell as good as possible. I follow this all up with a little bit of hand moisturizer and then I'm on my way, ready for a great day. This right here is my favorite thing in all of the things that I brought today because it's the thing I use every single day at least twice or three, four times a day. And it's, uh, it's a toothbrush, uh, but it's not just a toothbrush. First of all, it comes in a very cool case. Uh, it's called Brush. There's different settings, so you've got your daily brushing setting, whitening, gentle, gum, maximum uh, you know, speed on the, the top there, and then another setting for your tongue. So you have a nice smelling mouth as a whole. Breath is good. Uh, my wife and I both use this. We're obsessed and we've gifted this to a lot of friends uh, because it's just the best toothbrush I've ever owned. And I've owned a lot of toothbrushes. Thank you for watching my Holy Rail with British GQ. See you next time.